Sebastian, thank you very much for the opportunity to talk to you. Now, we're here at WWS. I understand that you look after the tool management system side of the business within MapOut Group, but could you explain to me exactly what your job role is and, and what tool management is? Of course, I can do. Um, for example, you can see here a, a typical component um, of, of a tool management business. So it's a cylinder head and every customer normally um, is looking for, not normally, every customer is looking for a solution coming from the raw part to the finished part. And exactly that's the task of the tool management. We're helping our customers getting all the tools, um, getting also the logistics of the tool done and ending up in a productive um, way of manufacturing the parts. So what you're actually saying is that you're providing the initial tooling, but they, when it needs uh, refurbishing, for instance, it comes back into MAPAL and you, you start the process of, of getting that tool to the best ability to come back into the customer. Of course, it's, it, it's uh, depending on, on the project where it is. Maybe, of course, if it's a new project, we can provide the tooling. Um, um, if we step in later, of course, we can also work with the, with the tooling, what we have at the moment at the customer. And we are taking care about the complete process um, around um, or in the production facility of the customer. So new tool, resharpening, um, providing assembled tools, preset tools to the customer, the production line, and so on. So it's so a complete comprehensive approach um, what we deliver to the customer. So what, what you're saying to a certain extent, it, it, it could be that you, the cost per part is the most important thing to the customer? Of course, there are different business models, how we can do it. Um, the cost per part business, um, let me say, is looking for the optimized um, tooling solution or optimized cost optimized solution for the customer. But there is also a different business model called cost per consumption. So every time the customer goes in there, take a tool, consume it, um, and he pays for it. And when you look at the project work that you look after, is it, is, is it just in the areas that you're strong, like automotive or aerospace? No, actually, there are, um, on all different um, um, branches, um, we have tool management. Of course, MAPA is focusing on automotive and aerospace, and there we have also the huge share um, of our tool management business. And is this the tool management side of the business? Is it a big part of the MAPAL strategy? Yeah, it, it is, it is. I can tell you um, we're growing um, very good and it's about 10% of the share of, of the complete turnover of MAPAL now and it's constantly growing. So at what point should engineering companies be talking to yourself on the tool management team? Of course, the best point would be at the beginning of the project when they define the technology. Then we can um, already discuss with the customer what is the, the best tool solution, also in terms of cost per part, in terms of productivity. And from there on also we define, let me say, the operational business model uh, for, the, for the business later on when it's in serious production, uh, the part. And then um, this would be really the best point uh, to step in. Of course, if it's later, it's also no problem, then we need to work with that what we have and from there on we uh, build up the tool management solution for the customer. And what makes MAPAL better than any other tooling provider in the world? What would you say defines MAPAL? Um, MAPAL delivers a really comprehensive approach for the tool management. We can deliver great technology. You can see all the tools you see so far. Um, we really have good technology there. We also have now almost 20 years of experience uh, in tool management services, and that's also quite a long time. Um, on the other hand, we're also using, uh, with our Seacom Technology Cloud Platform, um, really the latest Industry 4.0 technology for the supporting processes to simplify them and also to have an advantage there. So at the end, I have to say, um, the challenges for the customer are constantly increasing. Of course, they need the best tool itself, but also they need the best service around the tool. And that's exactly what MAPA can deliver.